Okay, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Maya. Happy birthday to you. Guess who's back? Better than ever. <laughs> What's up guys? It's your girl Arnisha. And I know it's been a long time. And honestly, some of you guys might not even know who I am. Most of you guys seeing this video probably have no idea who I am. But if you've been to my channel before, welcome back. And I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. If you're new here, which you probably are, make sure you join the squad because I'm back and I'm better and I'm here to stay. So with that being said, make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And let's jump right into it. So as you can probably tell by the title, um, this is my labor and delivery story. I only have two clips from that night. Um, it was so hectic. Not even hectic it was just so much going on that there was never actually a moment to stop and record or so I went into labor about let's see what was happening that night I'm gonna insert a picture of me literally two hours before I went into labor Thursday October 1st was my due date um, and all day I had been having, happy 11-11, okay. But all day I had been having um, really bad contractions. Well, not even really bad because the ones I had later were, those were really bad. So all day I had been having slight contractions. Um, but even before that, I had been in labor, early labor. I'm sorry, my eyelash is itching. Um, I had been in early labor since the Saturday before the week I gave birth right so I have been having many contractions since that Saturday but they just weren't strong enough for them to actually be doing anything so baby girl basically took her time to come out which in the end I appreciate her having me labor like this um because to, probably to do all of that in once would be really painful and really tiring so yes yeah, so around 12 30 i started having really bad um contractions so i went i woke up my mom and i was like um it's time um, i'm in pain but at this point i wasn't in too much pain i could still breathe through them i could still kind of i had i had control over my body um i would get on my hands and knees and i would just breathe and I was still super peaceful and they were okay. Um, I called the birthing center where I was supposed to give birth and spoke to the midwife on call and I told her what was happening. And she was like, yeah, you're probably not in active labor, so stay home. Ooh, if you watching this, I'm mad at you but <laughs> so yeah so she was like stay home and I was like okay so at this point it's like two o'clock in the morning these contractions are horrible y'all I'm like I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I'm like tossing and turning I just don't I can't get in a position that relieves the pain so I'm like mom can you push on my hips you know everybody says if you have someone push on your hips it relieves the pressure and it helps so much which I'm not gonna lie it did but my mom just had no idea what she was doing and honestly I don't think she was strong enough so it was still really really painful um so I got in the tub still at home I get in the tub and I'm just like this isn't helping either I can't get in a position that is comfortable for me at all so I'm like mom go get my phone <laughs> we finna go 
So, <laughs> so I call the lady back and I'm like, yeah, these contractions are bad. Like I'm about to head in right now. I don't care what you say. I need to come in. And she's like, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Um, it took us about an hour to get out the house. I'm not even gonna lie. I was just in so much pain. I couldn't do, I couldn't do much. I, it was bad. It was, so we get to the hospital and, um, I'm in so much pain still. And they do valet parking at the ER. Did, I think every, um, hospital does valet at the ER. I'm not sure, but either way, um, the guy came over to the car and he's like, hey, and then a contraction started. And I'm like, ah, I can't do this. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so in case you guys are missing what you wondering what you missed, you did not miss a peaceful um, labor and delivery vlog. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> you would have been like, oh my God. This girl is doing the most. But it was painful. It was painful. Brings out a wheelchair and takes me inside. And I'm sitting in the wheelchair. Except I'm not really sitting in the wheelchair. I'm like doing like. <laughs> all this stuff. Because I can't. I can't take it. Um, I get checked in. And at this point I finally shed some real tears. And I cried to the person checking me in because I was just honestly I was so embarrassed like I was the most embarrassed that I've ever been in my life I just felt so out of tune with my body and that's just not something that I usually am so it was it was a lot for me to handle um so I get checked in and then they're like yeah we're just gonna send her straight up to labor and delivery skip triage skip all that take that girl to a delivery room so we finally get upstairs and they hook me up to the monitors and they're like oh my gosh you have coupling contractions um we're gonna go get you some fentanyl for the pain first of all yeah they give pregnant women fentanyl let's talk about it but <laughs> anyways coupling contractions basically means i was having two contractions at the same time and my contractions never baselined. So at this point, I had to completely throw my birth plan out the window, which really hurt my feelings. It really broke my heart. Um, oh my freaking gosh. I'm so embarrassed. And I'm so sad. My whole birth plan is already ruined. My entire birth plan is already completely out the window i'm getting drugs i'm getting all the drugs because i'm in so much pain i didn't even make an intro to this video what's up guys it's your girl what's today today is october 2nd it's like what time is it 4 3 4 oh my gosh you made me be in labor at home for three hours by myself okay you came at three o'clock I've been here for an hour. Yeah, I tried to get you to hurry up when you was in pain. You couldn't, I couldn't get you out the bed and off the floor and off the all the brewing rows. It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm having a baby today. Um, I need to put on my eyeshadows. Okay, what is up everybody? My, I don't want to like cover the mic on this <laughs> bonnet and everything. So I tried to record before when there was no one in the room. And I guess I'll just add that clip in there too. But then people came in the room and now I'm just, that was at four, that was at what, like 4.30 you said? Mm -hmm. 4.03, 4.30, something like that. Um, and now it's 6.01 and the room just got clear again. So, so far a lot has happened. <laughs> um, I did get the epidural. So my birth plan completely went out the window. So I've been in labor since what, like last Saturday? Since like last Saturday. And today is Friday, 
October 2nd. Yeah. Okay. okay. And today is Friday, October 2nd. So with that being said, um, I've been in labor for almost a week. But at 5.30, yeah, at 5.30, they checked me and I was 100% effaced and 10 centimeters dilated. But I had just gotten my epidural, which I literally could have made it. I'm so, I'm kind of disappointed in myself because like, I would have only needed to what be in labor for like another hour and by the time the I got my epidural and it actually started working I was 10 centimeters dilated but I'm just really happy I got it in all honesty because I was in a lot of pain I was in a lot of pain like I kind of wish my mom would have turned on the camera and recorded because it was bad like I cried at one point I shed real tears um but apparently my contractions were super bad and they were like coupling whatever that means i'm gonna look that up later and my stubborn child decided to be a little stubborn um a little cause a little issues but that's okay so yeah um as soon as i got here i lost my mucus plug is that what that was my membrane rupture, um, literally as soon as I got here, up to the room. And then she was about to break my water, or did she break my water? She broke my water. I like half the shakes. Um, but she broke my water. So yeah, now I've just been chilling, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so yeah, we should be pushing in about 25 minutes. She says she's going to let me get some rest time because literally since I've gotten, since I got here, there's been people in the room, like, that's how much, that's how hectic <laughs> this has been, like, I don't know how people get good labor and delivery vlogs. What are, what are y'all experiencing that I'm not, like, what did I miss but yeah so I'll check in when I'm pushing I guess not allowed to record me actually pushing which was sad because I wanted that footage so bad because again this is my one and only child I am not having any more kids <laughs> for a different reason that I will make a video on later but that's really how my labor and delivery went she Oh, I skipped an important part. So when they got me on the monitors, they realized that the contractions were, since they were coupling, um, it was taking a really bad toll on baby girl. Um, I didn't, I think I just didn't want to talk about this. That's why I skipped over it. So the, if I wouldn't have gotten my epidural, I, it would have been a really horrible situation. Um, that's all I'm going to say. They thought at two different times during me laboring they thought they were gonna have to give me an emergency c-section i'm talking i met the surgeon y'all <laughs> like the surgeon came in the room twice and i met her and the first time she explained what she would do the procedure and all that um and the second time she just came in like she was ready for them to prep me um but i insisted that we try to push so um baby girl's heart rate just kept dropping every time I got a contraction um, because there wasn't enough time for her to recover from them. But again, I got a healthy baby girl and she's fine today. She's perfect. Um, so yeah, I did get to cut her in yep. Uh, yep, and it takes a couple of times to get through. It's kind of rubbery. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's a nice and strong cord. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take that. To me, it was a great <laughs> me. To me, it was a great experience. Honestly, no, it wasn't. It was. I mean, it was birth. You guys, it was labor. <laughs> um, it was an amazing experience. I did watch her be born in the mirror. Um, it was. It was amazing. It had its really beautiful moments. It had its really scary moments. It had its 
really sad moments but all in all I'm in love with the child I created um, so yeah make sure you like subscribe comment down below and see you next time bye